In this episode, I'm going to compare a Vega Force Company V1911 Lite, made for airsoft guns, to a real steel Surefire 310R. What sets them apart? Vega Force Company, aka VFC, has produced a replica of a 80s style Surefire 310 called the V1911. It is available for both Western Arms and Marui Spec 1911s and features a permanent on off slide activation switch. The real steel Surefire 310R has a special place in every collector's heart. My 310R is a later generation 310, made in the early 2000s, and features a permanent on off rocket switch on the left side, convenient for right handed shooters. The big question is Does a V1911 bezel fit on a real Surefire light? Let's try it out. As we can see here, the Surefire bezel works perfectly on the V1911. The same goes for the V1911 bezel on the Surefire housing. So this is a good base if you need a spare L30 bezel, even though it's a copy. This is great news for me, as I can mix and match according to my preferences and needs. I can even convert the V1911 to a 610 if I desire. Regarding the lamp modules, the difference is night and day. The V1911 bezel appears similar to an old L30. Removing the collar, however, reveals a rather large spring, which took me by surprise. But it is needed in order to ensure contact with the positive pole on the battery. Since the diode is so cheap, a convex lens is needed to focus the light. The bezel on the 310 is a regular R30 Surefire bulb housed in a Z32 shock isolated bezel and finished off with a LU60 collar. Tested, true and reliable and this combo is still used by law enforcement and military. But even the best lights need spare parts. The V1911 has a host of spare parts at affordable prices. In contrast, 310 parts are rare and expensive to replace. You also need to buy a VFC slide catch to mount the real 310 on an airsoft gun. Unfortunately, the VFC slide catch does not match the real one. If the VFC slide catch works on or even fit real firearms has yet to be determined. All we need is someone dumb enough to trust their life, limb and safety to an $11 airsoft part whilst operating a firearm. Time for the uncomfortable part. Price. On the one hand, I learned that you get what you pay for. So cry once, buy real steel. A real 310 costs up to $700, but it can handle whatever you throw at it. The V1911 on the other hand costs between $50 and $60. However, this is still an unproven design. Does it have the same tolerance to shock and manhandling as the 310? Only time will tell. On the V1911, they only give you the option to activate the light via the sliding switch, which is rather stiff and difficult. For some reason, the copy has a permanent on-off sliding switch instead of a momentary one. There is, however, a hole in the bottom left corner of the housing where a remote pressure switch can be installed. With the Surefire light, you get two options. Either you activate the light with the permanent on-off rocker switch according to your needs, or you simply use the momentary activation feature with the pressure switch attached to the grip. That's it. Which will you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. 